are you serious? Are you serious, folks? Uh, we're reporting, of course, uh, live here from Florida from the uh, Mensa conference. Yesterday, Heidi went to four different, uh, heard four different speakers speaking on variety of things. Unbelievable information, pages of notes. I'm going to be bringing those to you, uh, those subjects in tomorrow's broadcast, so you don't want to miss it. Now, I went and uh, in the afternoon, I actually set in on two different presentations. One, uh, a man who is works for the federal government. He works for the uh, CDC, the uh, Center for Disease Control. He also uh, very uh, has w- reported to President Obama uh, on national. Uh, security issues as relates to the World Health Organization, bioterrorism, and just the potential of spreading of dangerous pathogens and different diseases. And I set in on that speech and took a ton of notes. I'm going to bring it to you. Also, I set in, uh, Heidi and I together last night, set in on an unbelievable presentation by, uh, uh, by a CIA interrogator uh, of the enhanced uh, interrogation program. He interrogated the top 16 um, radical Islamist um, leaders that was in our possession at Guantanamo Bay. He actually uh, interrogated Khalid Sheikh Mohammed uh, for 21 days, and he brought forth what he learned, what information he gleaned from all of these in the enhanced interrogation process. It was a spirited place. The the room was packed. And by the way, I walked up to him afterwards. He seemed to recognize me. I walked up afterwards and asked him if he'd be willing to come on my show. I have a radio show and a television show and asked him, would he like to come on my show? He immediately said yes and uh, said on the board he had if you you wanted to schedule him for uh, presentations but he handed me his personal card and personal cell phone number. So I'll be bringing him on this show. We spoke for a few minutes, shook hands, and said, yes, I would love to come on your show. So it will be an unbelievable interview when I bring him on. I'm, I don't even, can't even tell you. He said, without question, enhanced interrogation works. The information they got from these people would have never been given to them had there not been an enhanced interrogating going on and he said we verified the information we got from them and it was true once you break them then he said we got a lot of information from them and didn't have to do the enhanced interrogation anymore once they were broken once the main areas main information main names were released then they freely spoke about why they believe why do radical islamists believe the way they believe and this man is a clinical psychologist uh, Dr. James Mitchell, not only was he is he a clinical psychologist with a Ph.D. degree, but he also worked for the CIA and uh, was a one of the leading uh, interrogators in the enhanced ter- uh, enhanced um, interrogation program. He uh, worked for President George W. Bush for uh, about six years doing this. He said some of the interrogation was done off-site in black sites. Some of them were done in Guantanamo. Some of them were done in different locations. Uh, But he was fired the day after President Obama was sworn in his office. The president was sworn in on the 20th of January. He was fired, as well as others, in that program the very next day on January 21st. He was fired. In other words, Obama eliminated the program. Uh, It's a fascinating presentation. He will be a fascinating guest. I hope to get him next week. And let me just say this. It was a spirited crowd. At one point, two different people attacked him and and tried to blame the Jews for 9-11, of which he responded quite frankly. And I won't even say how he responded. But uh, it was the crowd booed these two guys who did this. They were Jew haters. They said derogatory things. 
There was another news lady in there who's been on Fox News and CNN. I knew who she was, and she stood up and asked him some pointed questions, trying to get him to say that enhanced interrogation did not accomplish anything, and he shot her down and said, oh, yes, it did. And uh, his presentation was powerful. I can't wait to bring him on. You will enjoy it. It will be a, uh, it's an eye-opening situation of what went on during those days, <clears throat> um, during those early years. He did say that going into Iraq was a mistake, that it was an absolute mistake. He said, now, Saddam Hussein's boys need to be killed. His two sons were so brutal, they needed to be killed. He said, but we could have killed him without going to war. We could have just used other methods. We would have killed them both. They need to be killed, he said. But we didn't need to go to war. We didn't need to bring all these troops. We did not need to go into Iraq. That was a mistake. So anyway, it's going to be a powerful, <clears throat> powerful interview, and I'll give that to you next week. And uh, you'll hear from his own words just all the details. I took about two and a half pages of notes, but I really would like to just br let him tell you the whole story. I'll be back with more current world events. Heidi's right now in a session as they're uh, bringing out all the new innovative inventions, innovative technologies that are getting ready, <clears throat> getting ready to be released in the next year, 18 months. And she's down there right now getting that information. There's tons of stuff where the new world order, I, I could tell you from that, the, uh, they are very afraid of uh, bird flu. Bird flu is the number one possible pandemic that could hit the world. I'll tell you more about that later. I'll see you guys at 12 noon Eastern. Don't miss today's live broadcast, including President Trump's historic speech in Poland as he's on his way to Germany now for the G20 summit. Wow, are you serious? Are you saved? The world is dangerous, dangerously. We're getting so close to the coming of the Lord, you wouldn't believe it. Are you serious? <laughs>